Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So, in the previous tutorial, we took a look at the DOIs and DNS enum. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you, uh, let's say, if you are a system administrator and you may get, uh, your employees may get uh, different car types of, if you have passed all your security system, then there's only one thing that you need to worry about would be that someone else to go and social engineer their, their way into your company. So, you need to keep your company secure. So in order for you to do that, you need to um, make your employees know what are the risks of that someone else sends them an email stating that from any random company to give out their IP addresses or any other thing by just by sending in some mail or clicking on some links. So you need to know that the mails come from the right place. So in order for you to do that, uh, let's say sometimes you get an email uh, email from a random IP address such as uh, abc at the google dot com or cc at the google dot com or desktop support at the red google dot com you get some such things like these so you need to make sure uh, first that uh, maybe the google can be right it can be google but sometimes and most of the time it is not google because google does not actually go ahead and let you know every time that you need to verify your account once it's done it's done it won't ask you again most of the times i'm saying so you need to go ahead and keep your employees secure so in order for that there is one separate tool over here so that you can check whether email ID you have received or the domain name you have received is a real one or not. So you can just go ahead and open over here applications, Cal Linux, information gathering, DNS analysis and you are crazy. So you can see over here that there are different versions over here. You can generate and test the domain typos and variation to perform uh, URL hijacking, phishing which is mostly done and corporate espionage. So uh, these are where the original directories are and these are the options uh, in uh, just in case you want to change your keyboard type and these are the main DNS ways. So uh, let's go ahead and check uh, what we could do. I'll just type URL crazy and I'll type google.com. Uh, okay, great. So there are 87 host name to process with google.com out of which 86 are false. So let's check which all are false. Okay, there are loads of things. We'll probably just go ahead and increase this a bit. And I'll just go ahead and skip and I'll run this again. Okay, make sure that you look at websites at a proper way because sometimes it will seem similar but uh, you won't even have an idea that this is a fake one I'll just go ahead and run it from the start okay as you can see okay this is uh, quite easy to understand that this is a fake one even this one even Google but this one uh, sometimes you just miss out the OM and you won't even recognize that so these are the fake ones I'll show you something which is uh, quite different and which is also a bit hard to found. We have googles.com which probably people don't see or we don't have the period in between so people normally go ahead and just click it out. So you can see over here we have also the reason uh, as to why it's a fake one and it's giving me out all the information and showing that only the domain original one is Google which was searched at this time that's today <coughs> and this is the date when it searched and my keyboard is QWERTY so it uh, these are the conditions that I have been searching through and uh, it will give you each information character uh, omission that means it does not have an O same thing here it does not have period com CM then we have repeated L which is a fake one and we have character replacement we have character replacement devices for E and uh, we have double character replacements we have vowels fab that is e to a okay this is a bit flipping that means it's from normal uh, it's a c google same thing over here uh, we have it has been chosen over here the zeros in front of o instead of o and that can be confusing sometime and these are totally different tlds timeline directories um, period ch period ca period edu these are all false so let's go ahead and check something more and uh, let's check what other options do we have okay so I'll just type I and let's first check the popularity with Google 
and I'll type let's say serve.com I'll type P okay we have 130 host name okay so this is quite a bit and we also have the IP addresses as to we can easily go ahead and find that out as to who is the person who is trying to go ahead and actually cheat this let's I think that this check okay perfect so as you can see we have it we even have the email IDs and the SMTPs which they are using and it's quite a bit so what you could do is you could simply go ahead and save these if you want to check that the email IDs which you have received are the right one or not just we, can, we have an option over here to output this file to a text file and you can go ahead and save this and then search into that whether this is the correct one or not so this is one way as to how we can go ahead and do that now I'll show you one more thing which is quite different and it will be let me just uh, go ahead and open that 